uh, we're here at Creative Social. Um, nice to be here with you. What's your name, where do you work, and what's your role, please? My name is Paul KitKat, and I am the Chief Creative Officer of KitKat Noor, which is an agency that I founded with three other partners in 2002. How many people are you responsible for? Uh, we have, I think, 14 creators now at the moment, um, which is a pretty manageable size. I've had larger departments in my time, um, but it's a good size. You can get to know everyone quite well. And uh, what are the core components of a successful creative department? Um, teamwork. I think you have to say that. You want them to, to be ambitious and competitive, but they need to work together as well, and they need to, they need to recognize each other's talents. And sometimes that's the hardest thing, to make them see value in other people's contributions. And do you have a set of uh, values or an ethos that you recruit by? I'm, because I was, I was lucky, I was completely outside the industry and brought in, you know, with, with no training or tuition. I'm very open to people coming in from all walks of life. Um, there are lots of people who do courses now, and that's great, but I'm, I'm much more interested in basically a creative mindset, if I can put it that way. And how do you spot and nurture talent in your team? By looking at their work and by spending time with them. Um, I obviously look at their work at the very earliest stages when they're having ideas, and I'm looking for, ori obviously, originality. I'm looking for things that I, that I find surprising. Um, over the years, you develop a kind of instant hair on the back of the neck thing when you see a great idea. That it's a gut feeling. And um, when people are, you know, part of your team, how do you assess their creative performance? Well, you look at what they've done over the year, and you you get a lot of feedback very quickly from the account handlers because they will tell you very fast whether or not they're happy with the way the creatives are working with them and with the clients. Um, you have to sometimes. Um, offset that a bit because creators aren't necessarily the easiest people to work with and if the if the client you know, if the account handlers find them difficult people that's not that's not necessarily a bad thing it might just be that they're that kind of person they might be highly creative but also quite awkward um, so really it comes down to look at the portfolio of work that they're producing and whether or not that's that's getting results and just finally, uh, around motivating and, and inspiring your creative team, is there, is there something you do to keep your, your team top of their game? I, I encourage them to leave the agency. Not, I don't mean leave forever, but to leave the building. I, I, I want them to take up membership of you know, the Tate model or somewhere like that, places they can go to away from work, um, away from the constant buzz of chatter that we all have around us where they can be inspired by the world around them. And London is a great city for that. Just walking around London is a very interesting thing to do. There's lots of stuff to see. Go out and find it. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you, Paul. Pleasure. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.